Hello everybody, Colnar here, and welcome back to more NASCAR Thunder 2004. In the last episode, we went to Daytona, it looked like Dale Earnhardt Jr. was possibly going to win the Pepsi 400, but he blew his engine, the engine just decided to fail on him, and we took back the lead, held off Bobby Labonte, and won the race. And now I have a two-race winning streak, hooray! And now, in this episode, we are headed to Chicagoland Speedway for the Tropicana 400. So, yeah, let's do this. You know, I kind of miss Chicagoland, even though it's, it's somewhat of a good track. But man, Chicagoland is dead. And the only way we're able to see Chicagoland is by playing this game. Or by finding Chicagoland race repeats on TV. But anyways, let's qualify. Coming to the line, the green flag wave. The clock has started, and this long line run has begun. All the lines are on him as he races down to the corner. He needs a good lap here to get a good starting position for Sunday's race. Take care of the car as best you can, buddy. Alright, that's the third position right now. Well, the gas, get back on the gas. Cool! Did better than my first lap, and that got me the pole position. And I said a new best lap. Let's go. But, oh, Jeff Gordon's gonna be right by me. Ugh. Alright, well, let's start the race. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? NASCAR Winston Cup racing in the Midwest. The fans here are excited. I'm happy to be back here, and I think we're in for a great show. The 100 car has certainly qualified well in the speedways this year. He's always quick at these tracks. You're right, I look for him to stay up towards the front all race, too. That crew has been working hard all week long. Jeff Gordon has been starting at the front all season. Oh yeah, and that makes it so much easier on race day also. When there isn't much traffic, it makes your race a lot less stressful as a driver. Hermie Sadler finds himself in a bit of a slump. I believe they got a good chance to turn their luck around right here. These guys have been working extra hard this week, and I think it just may pay off for them in the end. The engines are fired up and we're about to get set to go racing. Alright, here we go. The start of the Tropicana 400 is underway. Let's see if we can get Jeff Gordon to calm down a bit. But then again, he did cost me a race. Well, that was happening either way. Um, there's Dale Jarrett. No, 
no, I'm not gonna pin under caution. Flag came out. Wonder what that's for. Let's see if I can pick up some positions before I cross the start finish line. Up, debris came off Dale Jarrett's car. That's why. So he's mad at me. Whoa, Come on, I just lightly touched. Jump going out of the way. came off my car, which means that's a yellow flag. I'll bump Rusty out of the way. And he's not going to be too happy about that. Alright, we got the lead. Got the lead under caution. Nope, not going to pit. Eight laps to go here at Chicago Land. The two car wants to get by you.
Whoops, sorry. All clear, buddy. Well, Ricky Rudd's probably, probably mad at me for doing that. But who cares? Alright, seven laps to go. Try and get Bobby Labonte's hate levels of me down. Got one eye. Number two. Made some contact. Yeah, okay. how'd you do that? You've taken seconds. Clear on both sides. Three laps to go here. And look at what we have here. A battle between me and Bobby Labonte for the win here. Last episode it was a one lap shootout between me and Bobby Labonte for the win. But now it's going to be the last few laps. Got the just most lap sled. Oh no, boy. Okay, Bobby Labonte just took the lead with two laps to go. And Bobby wasn't too keen on me hitting his car a bit. So obviously, picked up some rivalry points against him. Gonna pass him. It's gonna be a risky move. Considering how angry he is at me. Alright, here we go. Final lap here. It's Bobby versus me for the win. Just like Daytona in the last episode. Bobby Bonnie's looking low and now he's trying to look high. And I'm going to hold up Bobby Labonte to win the Tropicana 400 at Chicagoland. Yes! Alright. Time to do some celebrating. That's three in a row, folks. We won at Infineon, we won at Daytona, now we won at Chicagoland. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we won. Cool. What an exciting finish. You know you've seen a great race when it gets to the last lap and you still have no idea who's going to win. The McDonald's car gets the win. That team deserves it. They worked hard all race long and I'm sure there'll be a lot of celebrating tonight. The 100 car has the beginnings of a rivalry with the 24 car. Well, when you're out there beating and banging on guys, some feathers are bound to get ruffled. Maybe after some time to cool off, they'll be back to racing with clear heads.
<coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll try to figure out what kind of thumbnail I will make for this. But anyways, let's uh, let's go to victory lane to celebrate my victory. Look at that, $162,500. That's a lot of money. And there's my trophy. So yeah, Jeff Gord is still mad at me. Oh well. So I win the race. Bobby Lavani finishes second again. Matt Ken's a third. Dale Earnhardt Jr. fourth. Jimmy Johnson fifth. Rusty Wallace sixth. Kurt Busch seventh. Ricky Rudd eighth. Mike Waltrip ninth. And Jeff Burton finishes in 10th to round up the top 10. Only one Dodge and five Fords and four Chevrolets. Wow. Ford dominated the top 10. And that means uh, Ford should go up on the uh, Manufacturer's Championship point standings. Now I'll say my EA Sports bio. And let us check out the stats and info. Starting off with the standings. I currently now have a 346 point lead over second place, which is now owned to Matt Kenseth. Well, it's still owned by Matt Kenseth. And, uh, yeah. So, Matt Kenseth in second in points. Rusty Wallace is third. Ryan Newman fourth. Kurt Busch fifth. Jeff Gordon slipping back to sixth. Bobby Lovani seventh. Ricky Rudd eighth. Tony Stewart ninth. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. in tenth. And Jeff Green is now within 1,000 points over, well, down against me. So that means he's he is currently out of the running for the championship. So now it's down to 23 racers. But it looks like Joe Nemechek, he might be out of the running for the championship soon. So these are the stats at halfway. We have completed 18 races out of 36. That's the halfway mark. And right now, there are 23 drivers that are that right now still have a shot at the Winston Cup Championship. Jeff Green is base, basically anybody... The, the cutoff line starts at Jeff Green, so basically Jeff Green and down is out of contention for the title. So all the Bush Series drivers are out, Craig Biffle's out, Jack Sprague's out, Kevin LePage is out. Mike Skinner's out, Christian Fedipaldi's out, Brett Bodine's out, Kenny Walls is out, Ken Schrader's out, Hermie Sadler's out, Steve Park is out, Jeremy Mayfield out, Kyle Petty is out, Terry Labonte's out, Casey Mears is out, Jamie McMurray is out, Robbie Gordon's out, Jerry Nadeau is out, and of course, Jeff Green is now out of contention. So it's now down to, to 23 drivers. And that might include Joe Nemechek coming up in the next race, possibly. And then it'll start falling one by one. they will be probably starting Marlon, Ward, Burton, or whoever. But these are the championship standings as they are right now. So yeah, got my 10th win of the season, my 11th top 5, and 13th top 10. And bringing down that average finish, which is good. And right now, Jeff Gordon and Bobby Lavani, Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, Johnny Benson, Dale Jarrett, those are the guys who are truly mad at me.
And then here's the uh, awards for Chicagoland. Got the pull award. And I also got front runner. Joni McCheck picked up the most positions. Dale Earnhardt Jr. set the fastest lap. I got rookie of the race, and Johnny Benson got the move of the race. And I've obviously already won rookie of the year, so it's not even a, not even a debate or a discussion. Still have the most polls over Jeff Gordon and Jerry Nadu. Ford is still leading the Manufacturers Championship over Chevy Dodge and Pontiac. And I am still your lap champion. Man, last place is a tie between Mark Barton and Kurt Busch. Huh, funny. But yeah. I think I shall call this an episode, guys. So, with that, we have done 18 out of 30... We have completed 18 out of 36 races. And next episode, we'll start the second half of the NASCAR season. Starting with New Hampshire for the New England 300. So, yeah. So with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NASCAR Thunder 2004. So with that, I'll see you guys later.